Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to save your presets in FL Studio. So if you made a preset in a certain VST and you don't know how to save it so that you can use it in your other songs and your other tracks, then this video is going to help you out a lot. So stay tuned. Now, if you didn't know already, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jcarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at YouTube marketing, online business, and music production. And in this video, I already told you what we're gonna do, so let's jump right into it. So, first we need to bring up an actual VST. Let's bring up Harmless. And then, all you need to know is to save a preset, you need to click over here. You see this button? this arrow if you click that you'll see all the presets and you'll see save preset as this is what you want to click so if we was to make something in here if we like just move the attack up or something whatever and then we just click this and it was like save preset as and we wanted to save this as a uh, slow saw or something we save that and now if we ever want to load our preset we just go to presets and all the presets that we make will be up here next to the default preset so it's very very easy when i first started moving around um, fl studio i couldn't find this so i thought i'd make a video on it as well to help anyone else out who's having the same um problems that i was having because it's when you're getting into new software it's long to figure out all the things that you need to know to make you actually be able to use it in an efficient way and that's what i'm trying to learn now so that's the type of videos that i'm going to be posting over the next couple of weeks because i'm going to be learning how to use fl studio 20 more efficiently and i want to help you do the same thing so everything i learn i'm going to pass on to you basically so if you like this video you know hit that like button subscribe do all that sort of stuff if you're a musician you should check out the rest of the stuff i've got on the channel because you learn how to market your music and build a business around it and make some money from it if that's something that's interesting to you <laughs> it should be then subscribe turn on notifications all that sort of stuff but i'll be leaving links to all the software and all the equipment that i use in the description down below so you can check that out and if you want to get on my daily email list where i'll be sharing my journey through music through youtube through all the stuff that i do my entrepreneurship my marketing all this sort of stuff i share what i learned through these emails and i i let you i give you the knowledge that i learn i teach you stuff through these emails on a daily basis so if you want that just go to growingyoutube.com forward slash free course you will also get a course that will show you the five most important steps to youtube success which is very very important for you if you want to grow your youtube channel to promote your music this is going to help you out a lot so definitely go check out that course that'll be on the end screen and in the description and all that sort of great stuff but you'll jump on the daily email list which is what i think you'll you'll be more excited about because i'll be sharing my experiences and i do well emails back like let's let's talk let's talk in the email yeah let's let's see what's up let's see what's up but yeah you know you can grab the course on the end screen i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about youtube marketing online business and music production peace out